Hello, Jeanette and kids up in Pennsylvania. This is Uncle Lou down in Florida. It's about 91 degrees, and I thought you would like to see your incoming new car. This is a 2002 Buick LeSabre Custom. It has just over 100,000 miles on it, but uh, it's got the famous 3800 uh, Series 2 engine in it, which should last about a half a million miles. Uh, I'm going to do a quick walk around to show you the car. Uh, it has a few use marks, that's obvious. Uh, there's a little you know, bump here and there, or door dink, but uh, I took most of those out. Uh, the ones that are there have no bearing whatsoever on the way the car functions. Uh, front to back, uh, we did a complete cleaning of the car. Uh, all of the hubcaps were, or wheel covers were cleaned of brake dust. Uh, the brakes were taken care of too. They look uh, pretty good. Uh, we did some mechanical work on it, made the necessary repairs to put it in as close to like new condition as possible. But uh, I thought you'd like to see what the car looks like on a complete walk around. Uh, it was donated by the priest from our church who had a car donated to him by one of our parishioners. And this just sat around and I stuck my neck out and said, hey, I think I know somebody who could use this. So that's the, the complete walk around of the car. Um, it has automatic air conditioning, power steering, power brakes. It's a custom job. It's got all the doodads uh, that you would want on a luxury vehicle. Uh, I'll do some minor little touch up with plain old uh, General Motors white paint. Uh, you'll never know that the little knicker scratch was there. Uh, it also boasts a brand new wax job that I put on it. Washed it with zip wax by Turtle Wax and then put a very nice Meguiar's uh, cleaner uh, wax polish and it really shines beautifully. The car is in amazingly good shape. No rust at all. Never been in an accident and uh, that's what she looks like. Uh, I'll open up the door and then I'll open up the engine and you can see how clean of a car it is. And believe it or not, it started its life in Pennsylvania. So I'm going to open up the door and here is the interior of the car. Well, if you see that light switch, which is right in the middle of the picture right there, we had that replaced. Uh, it had broken off before, but I didn't want to give it to you that way. So we replaced it completely with a brand new one, and it was just done today. Uh, but there's the interior of the car, and I shampooed the entire interior, carpeting, carpeted mats, and uh, all of the seats, including the headliner. Uh, there's all your power controls. It has AM, FM stereo with a cassette. And it's got that little cassette insert that allows you to play uh, MP3 players as well. I'll open up the back door. And you can see the windows roll down. We're having the window regulators replaced tomorrow. So when you get this, uh, the windows will work appropriately. But there's the rather cavernous back seat. And there's your owner's manual sitting where it belongs. And really, really quite nice. Again, everything on inside was shampooed as much as I could shampoo it to like new condition but it's very comfortable has all the lighting group the air conditioning blows ice cold and i think you'll really enjoy it but uh that's the interior and i'll show you the exterior or pardon me the interior of the trunk in one second and there's your center console right there i popped the trunk open and cleaned out the trunk there wasn't much in it but there is the trunk, including a club and a plastic bag, which actually has some throttle body cleaner in it that I will use tomorrow to make sure that the fuel injectors are working perfectly. But uh, you can see it's in almost brand new condition too. I don't think there's been much of anything ever put in this back trunk. And I vacuumed it, took the spare tire out, refilled it with the 60 pounds of pressure that it requires, and that's all ready to go. Um, also, I'll show you too, on the way home, we found out that the taillights had burned out, so I replaced all the taillights in the back. There's only four of them, two small ones and two large ones. Those now work like brand new, so it's nice and bright. So anyhow, that's the entire car, but the real piece of resistance is the engine. And I'll open up the engine compartment right there. And... Wait till you see the engine. Here is, I think, the latch somewhere right about here. There you go. It opens by itself. 
And is that a clean engine or what? We had all new spark plugs put in it today, along with that electric switch on the dashboard that I showed you. And there is the Series 3800 Series 2. Uh, has brand new oil, uh, checked in transmission fluid, it's like brand new. Topped off the brake fluid, it's like brand new. Topped off the um, uh, coolant, and it's uh, nice and clean and brand new. Uh, put in a brand new air filter for the cabin inside the car. I don't know, can you see that little hatch right there? That's where the air filter goes, so none of the dust from the outside gets in the car. And of course, I replaced the air filter as well, and that fits in that box right there, just to the right of that little hose. Tomorrow, I'll take that hose off, and I'll put in the throttle body cleaner and let it run. It'll smoke like crazy, but it cleans out anything that's in there. The car runs absolutely brand new. Shocks look to be pretty good. Uh, I don't see any bounce or anything like that, but you can see how nice and clean the engine is, and I think you really uh, it can go for another 200,000 miles. There's the front end, the logo, and it's all ready to go. But here is the cool thing. Even the glass on the front is not clouded. This is a 13-year-old car, and those headlights are like brand new. They're not faded like some of them are. You've got steel belted radial tires. There are two different tires, front and back. Uh, the back ones are uh, a little bit beefier than the front, which is the way it should be, particularly for any snow driving. But here we go. And I'm in the car now. And I'll put the key in. And you'll watch everything come to life. Monetary fund by Greece. There is. Probably won't. There's all the lights. And everything works and functions. Including the air conditioning. Which you can hear blowing cold. It's actually only 7.30. I've got to change the clock. But that being said, I'll take you outside now. And you can see the actual engine running. And with the oil change that I gave it with the additive, it's called Engine Restore. It absolutely runs like new. Listen. And yes, even your under hood light works. Yay! And there's your fan belt going around. We check the fan belt. It's actually more than that. It operates pretty much everything in the car, and it looks like it's very good condition. The car is very clean. I detailed the engine compartment for you, so it's ready to go. And there's your headlights. Everything works. All the bulbs work. I changed the fuses, too, and you're good to go. So there's the car. And we hope you drive it in good health. Let me shut the door. And I'll take some still pictures too and send you those, but I'm going to post this on YouTube. Let me shut it off first. You have to learn how to take that key out. So anyhow, there is your car. It may be the nicest car uh, you may have owned in quite a while, but it's really beautiful, uh, very heavy, very safe. Um, I'm not sure, I think it has airbags. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure the airbags are in there. But uh, there it is, power window, side windows, or side mirrors, pardon me, power windows all the way around. And like I said, tomorrow the gentleman's coming to replace the two rear door windows that will make it work perfectly. Windows are essentially scratch-free, and you should have many, many, many years of driving. So, there is your car, and it awaits. Have fun.